Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If my voice happens to sound slightly different, it's because I finally bought a cover for my Blue Yeti microphone, which will hopefully cut out some of the background noise it picks up. I think my voice should sound more or less the same, but if any if any keen-eared individuals hear a difference and it's like, already sounds different, that's why. Anyhow, we're actually nearing the end of this Let's Play right here because there's not a whole lot left for us to do. The, the end is now in sight. We're going to finish up Adventure Mode 2 today because we only have the rooftop levels to deal with. And then after that, we just have, uh, really just Survival Hard and then the Endless Modes. I'm going to see if I actually can find a way to record my iPhone screen so I can show off the last stand mode. Because that mode is my favorite mode in the game. It's really, really good, and it's a... It's kind of dumb that it's not available in the Game of the Year edition. Like, the Game of the Year edition should be the way to play, but no, apparently not. Doggone it, I always forget to start things out by buying the new sprouts. Yeah, I don't think I'm completing the full Zen Garden in this playthrough because, uh, well, that would take way too long and I actually have already completed it on my iPhone version. So if I can record my iPhone screen, I can just show off what the completed garden looks like without having to do it again. This is one of those things that's not particularly difficult to do, but boy howdy is it time consuming. And you know, I'm at this stage in my life where I gotta be careful of how I use my time. Because I don't have unlimited time on this planet. Here I am sounding like an old man again. Oh, my time for this world is not long. Even though I'm like not even 26 yet. I probably will be 26 by the time this video goes up because I am recording this in advance. Uh, how beautiful. I love the sound of cold, hard cash. <laughs> there we go. Look at all that money. Come on, little sprout. There we go. We can sell our... Uh, I'm not gonna sell my adult marigolds just yet. What do we even have left to get at the shop? The 10 seed slots, I don't think we're gonna be able to afford that. Rah, I'm crazy! And we got, oh yeah, the Tree of Wisdom. We actually get a special achievement if we grow it high enough. Hmm. We've bought all the plants at this point, right? Yeah, we have bought all the plants. We're a morticulturalist. I forgot about that. Let's buy the Tree of Wisdom. Do you want to visit the Tree of Wisdom now? Sure. Hey, Artie! This here is your Tree of Wisdom. I bought you some tree food to get you started. Okay. Thank you for feeding me. Keep giving me food and I'll give you valuable information. Okay. Chompers and walnuts work exceedingly well together. It's no surprise considering they were roommates in college. Not really. Like, again, yeah, the walnut does a good job of protecting the chomper, and the chomper can bite a zombies through the walnut. But the chomper's still a bad plant. It has a very poor kill rate, so... It's actually not true. If you ever listen to anything I say, listen to this. You want two columns of sunflowers. I'm dead serious here. Yes, that is true. Two columns really is the sweet spot. Snorkel zombies. I hate them. How do I deal? Walnuts on lily pads. That's how. That is good advice. Yes. It's a cheap and effective way of dealing with them. Psst. Try typing future while playing to experience zombies from the future. I gotta try that. F-U-T-U-R-E. Well, we got a boing sound, so let's start. Artie's roof. 
Oh, dude, they're wearing sunglasses. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, so we're starting out the rooftop levels, and we're starting out with an achievement that you can get in the iPhone version called Grounded. We have to clear the rooftop level without using any catapult plants. It was... I guess we could have done this on our first playthrough, but it would have been more difficult. This first level will be the easiest. We're going to get some flower pots. We're going to get some sunflowers. Snow peas. Squash. Oh, cool. We already have repeaters. That's great. Glad that they gave them to us. And, um, yeah, potato mines will be good. And probably a defensive plant like a walnut. Because we won't be able to have a lot of firepower on this course. Or, actually, hmm... I actually think marigolds... Nah, not marigolds. We don't really need money. That's fine. So this should be pretty easy. So again, any tiles that are sloped that are not this uh, column, we can't actually have any attacking plants there. Because uh, they're going to hit right into the wall. So we're going to have a whole lot of sunflowers on this level. Oh, wait, shoot. Actually, no, I want to change up my strategy for this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one level, so okay. We want the flower pots, we want the sunflowers. And maybe not snow peas, but ladies and gentlemen, we will be using gatling peas today. This is actually one challenge where gatling peas will be useful. We definitely want squash. And let's see... Honestly, I don't think we need potato mines if we have squash. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. I do still want the walnuts. And maybe... Uh, maybe Torchwood, honest. No, not Torchwood. We'll get the Marigolds. We'll see if this works. So I'm foregoing the use of Snow Peas. I was originally going to put Snow Peas on that column, but I think just going full into Repeater and Gatling Pea is going to be better. Gotta get the squash going. Now we are gonna run into trouble because we need 200 sun to get our first main attacking plant. Hey dude, cool sunglasses. Start making a fern column with sunflowers. All right, here we go. Now we're starting to face zombies at a higher rate. But now we have enough sun that we can afford to start building us some repeaters. I did not pause the game. Oh no, my antivirus software really, really wants me to renew it, and they stopped the game for me. Well, let's fix that. They're like, hey, you know, we've asked you 8,000 times, but the 8,000 and first time will be the one. Do you want to renew? No. Someone should make millions of dollars by making anti uh, antivirus software that doesn't bug you all the time. What a revolutionary idea that would be. Okay. Let's get a walnut up there then. Oh, 
Let's start making our Gatling Peas. So the Gatling Peas are going to be shooting a lot of peas. Four peas at a time. So they will be dishing out really heavy damage, which is nice. But again, in most situations, you're better off just planting an extra repeater. Because that effectively get, has the same exact effect. Two repeaters also shoot four peas at a time. Nope. All these accidental pauses. No! Don't take my marigold. Take one of the sunflowers. Okay, there you go. You can take one of the sunflowers. That's fine. Now we can place the marigolds in those spots. Thank you for not grabbing my Gatling peas. That would be far more devastating. They're like, what the heck? He has too many sunflowers. Free columns? Nah, -uh. we're gonna just help ourselves. Last huge wave already. Guess we didn't really need the Gatling Peas, but oh well. We also didn't not need them. Yeah, you're not eating my repeater today. Ah, beautiful. And there we go, rooftop level with no catapult plants. Isn't that just dandy? And that's actually an achievement in this as well. And we also got the Mortar Culturalist achievement and the Mustache Mode achievement. Great, three achievements at once. <laughs> that's just fantastic. All right, we got a lackluster group of zombies over here and now we can actually use catapult plants. Oh look, hey, hey they gave us cabbage pulp. That's just wonderful. I like having Umbrella Leaf on these rooftop levels. Let's see, we got... Alright, Bucket Heads and Pole Vaulting Zombies. I actually don't think that Magnet Shroom attracts the pole Vaulting Poles. So let's get some Walnuts. They can vault over the Walnut, that's fine, I don't really care. Maybe Melon Pulse as well? Uh, what else? Oh, we need... Let's get, let's get Potato Mine for those early game zombies. And I think that should probably be pretty good. So I guess we'll get... Eh, we'll get Squash as well.
yeah. That's a lot of corn throwing stuff, but we made it to the end. That was a long level, too. I have to warn you, you are going to hate this next level. Why? Because it's non-stop bungee zombie after bungee zombie. I hate those confounded bungees. I hate them. Hate them with a passion and a vengeance. A whoop de doo here to come those idiots now. Time for the chomper level. That level felt longer the second time around, but it was still just as easy. The rest of the levels should be pretty boring, but once we get to the Gargantuar levels, I'm going to start picking Cobb Cannons, because we need that achievement for killing the uh, two Gargantuars using Corn Cob Missiles in one level, so... Okay, this one should be simple. Let's just make sure we have those, and honestly, we don't really need anything else. We got some good options for plants, so... You know what? For this one... I'm gonna show off how bad the gold magnet room is. Gold magnet room is really, really, really bad. It is the worst plant in the game by far. It picks up money for you and that's literally all it can do. Actually, shoot. We didn't... we don't need... I'm gonna try that again, but we actually don't need Coffee Bean. You genuinely do not need Coffee Bean for Gold Magnet Shroom. Which is kind of astonishing. Regular Magnet Shroom sleeps in the daytime. Gold Magnet Shroom does not.
here we go. It's our gold magnet room. So he picks up the money for us, which that's kind of nice, I guess, but not really. Not really. The nice thing is you don't really ever need more than one. One can pick up the money pretty well. This is the first and shorter level with the Gargantuars. I'm gonna try to show off the strategy you can use with the Chompers to kill the Gargantuars with the Chompers quickly, and that'll require us using the Snow Pea, which thankfully we were actually given as one of the plants, so this'll be fun. Alright, we don't need Umbrella Leaves. That's fine. Uh... <laughs> Let's bring Blover, even though he does nothing. 
In case you're wondering, Blover does not blow away the imp when he's being thrown off of the Gargantuar's shoulder. That's not happening. Ooh, let's bring in Split Pea as well. <laughs> to, to shoot backwards at the Gargantuar. That would be funny. What else? Uh, actually, no. Not Split Pea. That would be stupid. Let's take the Gloom Shroom. Actually, no. There's no point in taking Gloom Shroom if we don't have a defensive plant to go with it. Blah. We, we need a catapult plant. Let's get the Colonel Pult. Yeah, we'll do Split Pea. And uh, Potato Mine. Yeah, so the key for face fighting the Gargantuar off the Chomper is you need to make sure that the Gargantuar is getting slowed by a Snow Pea or a Winter Melon. Then put the Chomper in front of him, and then we can put something like a Potato Mine in between them so that the Gargantuar is going to try hitting the Potato Mine, and he'll be slowed down so the Chomper will have enough time to bite him a couple times to defeat him. Should be fun. It's one of those really niche situations where Chomper can be okay. Again, Chomper's still not great. Like, it's not like, oh man, this makes the Gargantuars laughably easy. It's like, well, Gargantuars are still really easy to deal with, like, squash. It's hard to top good old squash. So help me if this one Colonel Bolt defeats that Conehead all by himself and I didn't need the potato line for it. That would actually be kind of funny. Actually, the split pea I took, not even just for the meme, but the split pea should be nice for shooting the imps down after they get thrown from the Gargantuar. Because they'll shoot backwards and hit the imp. Although I'm actually, I'm not sure if that'll work on the roof if it's sloped downwards. I'm not sure if the peas might actually pass over them. This is a, this is a thought experiment. <laughs> I did not bring split pea just for the meme, even though I kind of totally did. Remember, I voluntarily chose Split Pea. That wasn't even one of the plants given to me. <laughs> Not 
The butter also greatly helps for dealing with the gargantuar as we're using chompers. Because if the gargantuar is frozen with the butter, that makes it a lot easier to bite him. Without him crushing us. I'm curious to see, like, I think Gargantua will throw the imp in the third column from the left. I actually think the split peas are going to pass over his head, which is funny, but also stupid. <laughs> because I picked it on this course. I know I could use the cactus instead, but uh, cactus is really bad. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Chomper's actually really, really bad at this. I don't know why I thought Chomper ate him in two hits. Shoot him. Yep, the peas pass right over Imp's head. Okay, never mind. Chomper absolutely sucks at defeating Gargantuars. Even with both Snow Pea and Butter. Why did I think that Chopper killed him in two hits? Oh, great. And now he's... Eat it. You know what? I will use Cactus then. This did... This is not going according to plan. I just figured... Okay, that's weird. Because Chomper can kill any zombie other than the Gargantuar in one hit, similar to the Squash, and the Squash will kill a Gargantuar in two hits. So I just assumed that the Chomper killed... Is that different in the iPhone? I swear in the iPhone version you could kill, like, a Gargantuar in, like, two to five bites. Not, like, 15 or 20. Any imps that get thrown in this lane are going to be in for a rude awakening. Let's take advantage of the fact that we have three Peters on this level. Final wave. Let's see how many gargantuars we get. He's gonna be down here. That's not what I wanted. I'm gonna put a potato mine here. I think Potato Mine will do a decent job against the Gargantuar when he arrives. Okay. 
We're also gonna put a split P up here so he'll shoot backwards. Hit the Gargachuar over and over again. So I believe when the Gargantuar slams the ground, if there's a... Never mind, we'll never find out. <laughs> if the Gargantuar slams the ground and there's a fully armed Potato Bomb, or Potato Mine there, he will blow up and take massive damage as if he'd gotten hit by a squash. Alright, last real level of the Adventure 2, and wow, we have some bad plants up here. Well, I mean, none of them are bad by themselves, actually, but with the strategy I want to go for, they are. So we're going heavy in the Cobb Cannons. What else do we want? Uh... Normally I'd go potato mine to show it off, but nope, we're going squash. We're gonna need squash. We wanna we need to use the cob cannons to kill at least two gargantuars to get that last achievement. And then after that the Zomboss fight should be exactly the same as the two times we fought him before. Gargantuar on that whole level, so I don't even get the Popcorn Party achievement. Wow. There was only one Gargantuar on that entire level. I can't believe it. Homeowner, you have failed to submit to our rightful claim. Be advised that unless you comply, we will be forced to take extreme action. Please rev... <laughs> Why can I not ever read that word? Please remit or remit. Neither of those are really words. Please remit your house and brains to us forthwith. Sincerely, Ed Dr. Edgar Zomboss. Uh oh, he's here. Better get ready. It's gonna be one heck of a fight. Listen though, I know what his weakness is. You have to hit him in the pancreas. 
Oh, uh, no. That was a different guy. You have to, um, kick him in the... Hmm. You have to press up, up, down, down, left, right. Uh, wait, I remember. It's... I've beaten him twice before. This last one should be easy. Ooh. Goodbye. Jalapeno's hard carry you for that fight. They do pretty much all of the damage. We beat Adventure 2! Okay, you win. No more ED brains for us. We just want to make music video with you now. Well, we already saw the music video. Is there really no achievement for doing that? It definitely is the iPhone version for Second Life. All right, so we're missing the Golden Sunflower Trophy. How do you get that? Collect all the trophies in minigames, puzzle, and survival. Okay, so we need to clear survival hard mode to get the Gold Sunflower Trophy. Then we need to get to the Streak of 10 and Eye Zombie Endless, Streak of 15 and Vase Breaker Endless. We still need to defeat two Garantuars with Koro and Cobb missiles in a single level. That's, I hope that one of the survival levels lets us do that. Uh, we gotta do, uh, survival mode, survival endless 20, for 20 waves, I believe, and then we gotta buy a bunch of stuff for our tower of, our tree of wisdom. Let's water our crops, then we can buy more, uh, stuff for the tree of wisdom. Let's sell our marigolds that want the, uh, bug spray, I'm not giving them bug spray. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh, look at that cash. How much are... The, oh, is that it? Oh, cool. Uh, where's the Tree of Wisdom? Where do I find the Tree of Wisdom? Oh, here it is. Oh, you only get one bit of food per time you buy it. How many cherry bombs does it take to take down a gargantuar? Here's a hint. More than one, fewer than three. Here's a more explicit hint, too. Yes. Alright, Tree of Wisdom. If you're looking for mushroom plants for your Zen Garden, you have better luck playing on levels where it's nighttime. Yeah, I think that's the only way you can get mushrooms for the Zen Garden. I wouldn't worry about permanently losing or permanently damaging your lawn of doom shrooms. The time he in time the earth heals itself. How many of these bags do I have to buy in order to get it to max size? I've bought all the stuff I want. Have you tried clicking on the flowers on the main menu? Give it a shot. I'll wait here. 
Legend has it that frozen zombies eat slower. I am here to tell you that legend is <laughs> has its facts straight. Have you heard of the elusive Yeti zombie? Some say he likes hiding where it's pitch black. Yep. But only in Adventure 2. I bet there's a limit to how many of these you can buy. Maybe, possibly. What's cheaper than free? Nothing. That's why puff shrooms are essential on all night levels. Yep. Are you hoping to find water to find water plants for your Zen Garden? I bet my phloem that you'll have the most luck searching the pool levels. Again, pretty sure that's the only way you can get them. Have you noticed that gargantuars sometimes use other zombies to bash your plants? Whatever works, I guess. Yeah, the, the gargantuars, uh, the weapon they carry is random. They can have one of three things. They usually have telephone uh, poles, but they can also have, like, duck crossing signs or other zombies. True story. Stinky the Snail sure loves his chocolate. Maybe he loves it a little too much, you know? He won't sit still for an hour after he's had some. If you think about playing survival endless mode, if you think playing survival endless mode only drops pool style plants for your Zengar, and think again, it drops everything style. Cool. That's nice. Often the question is asked, where do you find chocolate? A better question would be, where don't you find chocolate? It drops in every game mode. Grave busters, eh? Pick them only when you see graves on the right side of the screen along with the zombies. That's what I do. Yeah, grave busters useless outside of levels with graves in them. Surprise, surprise. Alright, that was a long episode, but we are now officially done with Adventure. All we have left are the Endless Modes and then Survival Hard Mode, and then if I can get my iPhone screen recorded, then we can check out the full Zen Garden, Mushroom Garden, Aquarium Garden, as well as the Last Stand Mode. That'll be fun. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.